awesome. You know, last week, Nito asked me to sing for his Rotary Thanksgiving program for High Point. It was at High Point University. And I did a couple of songs and I was really honored to be there. But 25 or 30 years before that, the speaker was W. Mitchell. And you know Mitchell's story. Of course, he was uh, third degree burns over 90% of his body. Um, and, and then he was in a motorcycle accident, which I think the motorcycle accident was first. He's um, a paraplegic. And, it, you know, just whole story. So when he's telling it, Steve, now this is self-deprecating humor, though. When he's telling it, you are about to explode with emotion. You just want to sit down. You want to put your head down and just cry a bucket. And all of a sudden, he shifts it to the doctor comes in, the plastic surgeon. And he's all, you know, you want, there are no mirrors in burn units is what he says. Yeah. And the doctor says, do you have a photograph of yourself before your accident? And Mitchell said, yes, I do. For some reason, my driver's license did not get burned and my picture's on that. And he says, the, I'm very dramatic. The doctor walks over, pulls the driver's license, looks at his picture and says, oh, dear God, pause. I know we can do better than this. <laughs> <laughs> well, everybody is so steep with emotions. Yeah. There was yep. this massive release. Yep. Now, that was 30 years ago. I still remember that. I still Whoa. remember that moment. Because it. it was one of the most powerful moments of being able to laugh through the tragedy of his situation. You know, emotion is emotion. That's so weird, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, you could yeah. be high or low. You could still come to that spot of levity and laughter and humor to deal with it. It's oh, true. yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I teach my grandkids that. Now, as a matter of fact, I'll tell you another bounce back story. My my uh, grandson, Julian, was in a play about four months ago, five months ago, The Wizard of Oz. And, you you know, I you know me, I, I do a great impression of the lion. I was a lion in the play in, for NSA. So I'm coaching him with his lines. He had this incredible lion's outfit. And the night before, I'm going over his lines with him. And I'm looking at him. I said, Julian, what's the matter with you? He's 11 years old. He said, Pop, what if I forget my lines? Because what if I forget it? I said, well, that could happen. I, I said, but always stay in character. Remember, as soon as you hit that stage, you're the lion. You're the lion. And what is the lion? He said, well, he's cowardly and he doesn't have any confidence. And exactly. So just remember, you stay in character. The lines will come back, but don't panic. Opening night, the auditorium is yeah. packed. I'm sitting next to my son, and his he was doing okay, but you know the song that the lion sings? So the piano yeah. plays for the intro, dun, 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 and he goes to sing, and he pauses. And I look at my son. My son looks at me. The piano goes again, dun, 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 and he pauses <laughs> again. He forgot the lines. What does he do? He goes like this. He said, this is exactly what he did. He went... <laughs> and he goes to the audience he goes i'm a loser i knew i was gonna do this i messed the whole thing up i ruined the whole play i'm so sorry <laughs> the audience was howling howling gave him a standing ovation and he started taking bows the ham that he is uh he went right back into character the piano played again and finished the song it was amazing it was an oh amazing. my good yeah. Steve, that's a gift. Not many young people that age could do that. They would crumble. Human beings to the rescue. That's what I'm saying.